Germany have started trying different things with another mind-adjusting love medicate that places nationals into a perspective that makes them more tolerant of transients. Scientists from the University of Bonn say that nationals have a tendency to be more consistent and neighborly when given oxytocin, a capable hormone that goes about as a neurotransmitter in the cerebrum. The Sun reports, given the correct conditions, oxytocin may help advance the acknowledgement and mix of vagrants into Western societies. The recommendation that Westerners ought to be offered medications to make them all the more inviting to non-natives is probably going to be tremendously questionable. A huge number of transients and exiles have filled Europe as of late, with individuals now endeavoring to cross the Mediterranean on jet skis subsequent to paying up to £3,000 per individual. Angela Merkel as of late disclosed to Donald Trump she wishes she hadn't opened Germany's fringes to evacuees, while the very rich person Microsoft organizer Bill Gates said Europe was at limit. So could oxytocin be utilized to change some European states of mind and urge them to acknowledge their new neighbors? Yes, Herleman said. His group evaluated 100 individuals' states of mind to transients and gave them 50 euros which could be given to local people or displaced people. In the primary control test, specialists found that Germans were more liberal to vagrants than local people. We were amazed that the members in the main investigation gave around 20 for every penny more to evacuees than to neighborhood individuals in require, said Nina Marsh from Professor Herleman's group. Half of the members were then given oxytocin, which made individuals who as of now had a great state of mind to transients give more cash, however did not change the disposition of individuals who had a negative point of view toward relocation and did not make them hand over more money. Be that as it may, when individuals who'd against migration seas were given the affection hormone and indicated how much money others had given, they turn out to be altogether more liberal. Presently, even individuals with negative dispositions towards vagrants gave up to 74 for every penny more to outcasts, Nina Marsh included. The examination recommends that individuals could be made to be more liberal to transients through a blend of oxytocin and companion weight. Notwithstanding, it is uncertain that the number of inhabitants in an European nation would acknowledge being medicated in and offered to enable them to acknowledge huge social change.